Um, there was another um, incredible invention that Galen had um, created. I don't have a photograph of it, but as the story goes, Galen had such a powerful scalar energy instrument that one of his instruments started to levitate. It was an anti-gravity instrument. And it got to the point that he did not want to get near this instrument because he felt that while it was levitating that he could possibly enter into another time frame. So Galen Hieronymus was able in some, in some fashion, to some degree, able to create an anti-gravity instrument and he was rather dubious about using it because he realized that when it had this anti-gravity capacity, it also had the capacity to enter into a time warp or another time frame. And Galen did not want to, to be uh, teletransported into another time realm, into another time frame. So I never got to work with that instrument. I never saw it. But this, this again, is this, this is the... Um, uh, what I consider the brilliance of Galen Hieronymus and how the, the world someday will catch up to him, Galen Hieronymus and other men like Moray and Tesla. And we will revisit this long and forgotten, uh, uh, the science of scalar energy, what some people today are calling chi or prana. Uh, we will revisit their work and we will resurrect their work and we will once again benefit from this lost technology. This